What's up my people? You machines and machine freaks. Hope you guys are enjoying your day and having a froggy fresh one. We are with the Jeep differentials here in the warehouse. This is the previous rear differential. This is a Dana 35. You guys saw yesterday we started tearing this thing apart, cutting pieces off of it, and then putting it on to our new differential, our Ford 8.8. This thing is much more strong. The internals are in really, really good shape. And we just got done taking the previous mounts off the Dana 35 and throwing them on here. So this thing's all, all freshly welded. We even have these two points here that previously were on the axle. We're gonna leave those just in case, uh, you know, whatever the future brings, we could either use it for a mount or maybe a machine sign back there or something. We had to take a chunk out of that. Now on the other side here, I'm not going to rotate it, but I welded about three inches of weld on the top of, you know, connecting the axle housing to the differential itself. But we're going to need something beefy if we're going to put a turbo on this sucker. What kind of machine is that? Stupid G7X didn't even focus. We got both the differentials out of the middle of the warehouse. We're sweeping up right now. We're sorting through what we're going to continue to use and what we no longer need. For example, there are a lot of parts from the Ford that we're going to use, and there are a lot of the Ford parts that we will not use. This thing's looking awesome though, I love it. Jason, what do you think about that sucker? You like that? I think it'll work. You think it'll work? I think it'll, I think it'll go one step, maybe two steps beyond just working. If something just works or doesn't work, what's the step beyond working? Working awesome. So after we get all this cleaned up, we'll bring in the frame start seeing what we need to get for materials and then we'll go get some materials and then we would like to go live today and then uh, you know see all you guys live talk to you live and have all sorts of good fun i kind of want to take this thing out for a rip but unfortunately it's raining and you don't really want to get you don't really want to drive those things in water do you it's low voltage so yeah but still it's this is probably not the best thing for it, right? One thing that I would like to share with you guys is something that I just learned like 30 minutes ago. We were down in Napa, we spoke to Ryan, and I asked him, I said, hey, does a 99 Explorer and a 97 Jeep have the same universal joint? And he says, no. And I'm like, dang it. But you can go ahead and take the characteristics of an Explorer U-joint and a Jeep U-joint and get that all-in-one U-joint, which I did not know. So we ordered that. We don't need that anytime soon because this thing's not sandblasted or powder coated. We would like to get both the frame and this up there today. Not sure if that's going to happen or not, but it's good to have goals. So that's that's the objective at least. So now we'll bring in the frame and start, uh, start turning into this thing. We have welding just about everywhere on the frame that needs to happen here. More on the very front and on the very back than anything, but we do want to throw in some reinforcements back here, especially this one spot, it kind of rotted through, but that's the only weak part of the frame. Everything else looks nice. We went to the store, we got some steel. We also brought Jason's truck close to the shop because his 2018 truck has Wi-Fi built in, so we figured we could, we could tap into that, have a live stream. Unfortunately, it was really, really laggy. Uh, the, the weather probably didn't help with that. Do I have something like that? No, I'm good. Um, the weather probably didn't help with that. So what's gonna have to happen is we're just gonna have to get uh, like really fast internet for here so that we can have live streams. What do you guys think about that? Leave in the comment section below if you approve. We're gonna get to tearing this frame apart, cleaning it up, and re-welding it. The first three things that I'm going to go ahead and cut off is this thing, that thing, and that thing, and Jason's gonna go, wait, what are you, cleaning up some stuff? Flap, no. Flap desk! I took my big welder, made a lot of cuts. Jason's cleaning some stuff up with the grinder. We got just about this whole back section of the frame all cleaned up. He's also gone ahead and cleaned up this front portion here so I can start welding that while he's doing that. Basically just tag team in this thing. We made it up to Chris's shop. I'm cutting out our plate steel here that uh, Jason went ahead and traced out. There's one of them. I'm halfway done with cutting this one. Chris, thank you very much. Your plasma cutter is working good. Hey, thanks for the, uh, parfaits. the parfaits? You like the parfaits? Ooh. Chris is a big fan of the parfaits. The parfaits. Oh, 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 Grant, granola. <laughs> granola? You you want the granola that or you one. don't want hey, the Hey, did they give you another one or is that free? I, dude, I, I asked you if you wanted one. I figured I'd double it and get you two. Whoa! Talking about the nth degree there. <laughs> there you go. We're back up to the warehouse. We got both our pieces here. This is the passenger side. This is the driver's side. I currently have this tacked up right here. Now we don't have the biggest uh, big welder in the world, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna tack it up for now. 
Then what I'm going to try to do to see if it works is stick weld it. Just hopefully it's thick enough material. Chris brought his uh, fancy dancy new drone here. <laughs> Only the finest technology. <laughs> so, uh, aircraft top quadcopter. Copper. Aircraft quadcopter. <laughs> Try to say That's that three twister. times, man. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take this up. We'll get back to you guys. We're making this. Jason, come here. Check it out. Look at all the progress we're making here. Brand new. Look at this stuff. Beautiful, Clark. Too much to run. Did you just crash that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> just don't go in the creek with it. The rear end just wants to keep sliding out of it. It's hard to get up that hill. Isn't that thing awesome? Dude, I could play with this thing all day long. Oh, oh man! You spun out way too fast. I am going to give one of these things away in just four days, you guys. You guys can pick the red, the blue, the black, the pink, the white, anything you want. If you win, all you gotta do is go to machineworks.com. Every $4.99 you, you spend, you earn yourself an entry. <laughs> this thing's awesome. <laughs> well, we got a new addition to the fleet. Jason got a, what is this, a 2018? Yep, 2018. 2018 Chevy Silverado, 1500. Double cab. Double cab. Got the four doors. Thing looks spunky. He's already gone ahead and put some add-ons on here. I'm sure you can see he's got some new tail lights. What else, Jason? You you tell the, the folks. Tail lights, running boards, new rock rails. He's got tow mirrors on it now. He's he's with the fire department, so he's got like antennas all over the place and, and lights all over the place. Did you put new Headlights in here too? No, or those are stock. Those are stock? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you put the uh, did you put the rain guards on here? Oh yeah, the vent shades. Yep. It looks nice. And you put the tunnel cover on, right? Yep. Okay. Jason is going to add more horsepower by putting some machine decals on. However, we don't have any at the shop right now. Once we go down to my house, we'll hook them up. You'll get more ponies that way. Because everybody could use more ponies. You want to show them what you, all the all the contraptions you got in here? The battery. Holy smokes! Look at that sucker. It's got like 16 different horns and sirens and bells and whistles. Literally bells and whistles. I like it. I really like it. If the warehouse starts on fire, we just we don't even have to call 911 anymore. We just call Jason up and say, hey Jason, go ahead and put that fire. Oh yeah, and we we did just <laughs> we put it out though. We put it out. Welding related fire. <laughs> I was cutting these two pieces off over here, and the paper towels were sitting right here and they started on fire. Just because we start a fire here and there doesn't mean that we're not responsible people. We are responsible people. All the guys left, it's been a very long day, a very productive day, and I am very, very proud of that. Jason took off just like five minutes ago. Chris took off like an hour or two ago. We got this first piece of frame that, that we cut at Chris's shop on, and you can see it, it looks absolutely beautiful. I have this one little mount on there as well. But from there, we'll put on our brand new, I think that's our lower control arm, our lower rear control arm. Uh, I'm, I have brand new those and I, they're in stainless steel. I am putting these sections on both sides because I don't want any future, when, when this thing's going off-roading, I don't want any future like extreme off-roading to get in the way of the strength of the frame. So that's why I'm doing it on both sides. This side really only needed it, but we'll go ahead and strengthen that side up. Motor mounts are completely welded up. Don't have to worry about those. Everything in the front, as far as my knowledge goes, it's all done. Now we're just working on back here. Hopefully get that frame done in the next couple of days. And that's ready to be taken to sandblasting. That axle is done, ready for sandblasting, which is really, really awesome. We can also get this guy torn down and hopefully get him to sandblasting as well. I really, really like this build. I know a lot of you guys like this build. It's, it's extremely exciting if you ask me. We're starting from the very, very bottom. I mean, we have no pieces on this frame, no pieces on our foundation, and we're building up from here, and we're doing an awesome job at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Froggy Fresh 3D Machines production. Like I said, there's only a couple days on this Traxxas giveaway. I'm going to give away any color that you, you want, as long as it's red, blue, black, pink, or white. If you win, all you gotta do is go to machinemerch.com, get yourself something super fly, whether it's a t-shirt, sweatshirt, decal, anything, 
and we'll hopefully hook you up. Basically, until next time, 3D Machines out. Yeah.